Hi guys, Ninja Boy here and welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Reborn. In the last episode, we defeated Kane and Shelly who were being manipulated by the Pulse Hypno, alright? So we had no choice but to defeat them in battle because they were controlled. And they took... They took hostages, alright? And put me to sleep and it seems I'm in, trapped in some kind of void. Oh wait, there's a healing spot. Oof, finally. Alright. Um, now what? Where am I going? Talk to every NPC. Got an own for Reborn City, huh? They sure have been pushing the new league. Just between you and me, the old barrier fence post, I hear Reborn City is kind of a dumb. Why anyone would want to go there beyond me? And yet, Ambitious trainer type folk have been heading out in doves. But off you go. Train sleeps any minute. Okay. Let's see. Oh my god! That that was Amy, right? So you're a ninja boy. I'm Julia, captain of a cheer and prep and all things baby. Yes, correct. That was the only thing you could do. Grand Hall. Okay. Oh man, what is going on? Hey, are you Ninja Boy? I'm Kiki. It's a pleasure to meet you, but is everything okay? I heard something happened at the station. Well, if you're here, so I guess you're alright. Amy asked me that I bring you in for salvation too. Don't worry, it shouldn't take long. Let's go inside. Go inside where? Wait a minute, what am I doing? Oh hey. These are the starter Pokemons. Mine one is a Poplio, so I'm gonna be choosing this one. Right? I need to talk to every NPC, it seems. That's what the guide says. So let's see. Let's try to backtrack and see if. Are there any NPCs left to talk to? Because there was one person I haven't talked to. Hey, um, you guys alright? What's going on? Man, I feel so lost in the void. This is literally the void, oh man. Alright, fine. Let's just get this over with, okay? Oh my god! That blood... Oh, that scared the heck out of me. Uh... Where do I go now? I don't know. Hey! Hey, you're cute! You come here often. Come around here often. Ah, just kidding. Man, Ninja Boy, I'm so glad to see you. I mean, I thought I had stars in my eyes, but I guess it was just you. But really, I've been wandering around here for a while and I'm starting to think getting worried. I have no idea how I got here or what's going on. But what do you say we stick together until we figure what's what in this place? And again, there's only one path, so I guess that won't be hard. Come on, let's go. Um, how do you do? Oh my god, I'm so scared here. Okay. There's nothing here, right? I didn't miss anything, right? They're gone. Okay. I wonder what's up with that. 
But in any case, I guess we just have to keep going. Avoid. Oh, hey. Hi, hi, Ninja Boy. Welcome to the Dazzling Super Ultra Hyper Electro Dazzling Hi Happy Boom Time House of Age here. Just ignore the super lame reality chunk. I need more banners and streamers and um, ways to cover up the persisting revelation that the best years of my life are already behind me and from now on everything is an inevitable decline. Wait, is that a safety hazard? Oh, who cares? Anyway, oh, don't you think I'll go easy on you just because you're the one he chose? As a former cheerleader, I have convinced myself that the honest trainer school's honors depends on me. OTS, we represent, we punch, we pack a punch and don't relent. Alright, 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 I'm so wild, so let's... Oh. Am I gonna... Okay. Ninja boy. A little birdie told me you're coming here to challenge my sister. I forced myself, forced to ask myself, why? Here's what I think, Ninja Boy. I don't think you don't deserve to challenge her. I think you're not good enough. Not even I, I was good enough. Maybe you can't understand why I'm doing this, Ninja Boy. It's not like it's a matter of pride. But you're not worthy. And, and I never was. You were never was? What? Wait, how do I get there then? Mm. Oh, there's a new path. Oh, hey, it's... Dorinia, slow boat. What do you have to say? Don't... Don't speak like... Please notice. Notice what? How am I supposed to... Whoa! I literally saw that. What was that? Oh hey. Um, hello? Can I... Uh, wait, what are they doing? I don't know. Huh? Hey, hey, wait, what's going on? Oh, it must be the f conflict between him and Shelly, I remember. Um, what's going on? Whoa, why there are so many bananas here? Oh my god, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> um, okay. I'm getting scared. Whoa, what? I have no idea what's going on. Hey, it's Shelly. Um, you okay there? I really wish I could reach you and talk to you. Come on. There's got to be something again. What are you doing, you stupid creep? You let go of me already. And the subject lashes out with verbal and physical aggression and refuses to listen to their instructions for reason. Let's begin the initial treatment at 100 volts. Oh my god. Do you really think you can get away with this, you dirty old man? Ah, she scratched me. Restrain her. And make that 110 volts instead. Now, Heater, just hold still. You might feel a little shock. Oh my god, I'm getting shocked here. Wait, am I actually getting... Okay. Hey. Oh! It was you! Your light shines brightest in the darkness after all. So make sure you never ever stop shining no matter what happens. I know this is a little backwards but just hang in there, okay? She should open a path for you, unless... Hey Ninja Boy, if two stars fall, passing like ships in the night, do you think they would wish upon each other? If they would happen, then which wish would win? Maybe we just have to chase them to the horizon to find out. 
Oh god. Let me save the game. What? They're... Oh, I really hate those. <laughs> They're doing horrible things to Luna. This is literally like the summary of my whole journey to you now. Oh, hey. Oh, jeez, there you are. It's really you this time, right? I lost you before and I've been seeing some real weird stuff down here. Earlier I saw a version of you, but I think it was from the past. You didn't really seem even... Didn't seem to even see me at all. It was pretty cold. But I thought we were gonna stick together, haha. <laughs> Listen, I feel like... I keep feeling like there's something just behind me. So, really. Stay close this time, okay? Just go slow together. Wait, I talked to... I feel like there is something up there, so I'm gonna quickly save the game. Oh hey Kiki, welcome once more. I return as a well striking and perfect immortality with all the fury that my soul may harbor because that is all I can amount to, defeat the inner chaos. Did you really think I was talking about Zen of the Mind? I could be centered to death zero and I will still end up Oh. Ah! How is this fair that I had to be the one to go? How is it fair that my body had to be the one killing itself? I didn't ask for this. Do you really think I was satisfied? Do you think I didn't have dreams? Do you think I was a single goddamn thing staying calm? Did defeat the inner chaos. I am made of chaos. And there is nothing I can do about that. Unlike these weenie self-absorbed children whose greatest problem is what their fucking hair looks like. They have no idea what it's like to wake up one day and suddenly hear that despite everything they have ever sought to do with their life. Despite giving themselves to others every step of the way despite surviving a family that commuted communicated mainly in drugs and violence despite having climbed over all sorts of shit of life just to make one goddamn oasis of serenity in this fucking ballistic world the only reward you get is death tear my stomach open pick out my intestines grind them into the door my body would do it all on its own anyway. The one thing I ever, ever taught was mercy. But no one could teach me that to me. Oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> the way that Garchomp appeared in the screen and the blood, oh my god, that spooked me, spooked me to death. <sighs> So I guess I keep continuing on. Oh. Please stop fighting. Please come back. I'll clean my room and won't complain anymore. I'll do anything I just need to. J just please love each other again. Huh. What's going on? I don't like this. This is I, alright? Oh man, I don't like this. I don't like where this is going at all, you know. Let's keep continuing. What's going on? What are they doing? Is Victoria there? Whoa, what's going on? Hey, wait. Um, did something happen? 
Aya, uh, look, I know your brother Kane is. So you left too, huh? Che. I know I'm the toxic person, but you could at least say goodbye first. But I guess that's just what I deserve. No, that's not what you deserve. Oh, uh, let me save the game. I'm pretty scared here. Oh, hey. Same again. Oh. It really just... It's just you, isn't it? This place is running a bit ragged. And not in a good way. If I keep seeing those things about you, probably you've seen some things about me too. To be honest, I'd rather just forget about most of the stuff. Well, obviously, that's why I ran her. Huh? But then... The only place I ever ran was in circles. I guess it's hard to do anything else when you don't know where to go. Hey ninja boy! Do you know where you want to do? What do you want to do in the future? Like, after all this is over. Wait, um, I think I do. Yes. Yeah? I'm not too surprised. So many people seems like they're just cut out and set out whatever it is they want to do but i never was like that haha <laughs> i can barely settle on a romantic partner even with how much i joke and flirt about that stuff it's just a way of keeping myself safe from commitments and disappointment if those were those are even any different who knows maybe one day i could find somewhere i can actually feel like i belong place or person either way but I I have gotten enough around good enough to know that I am the problem not them even if they do nothing wrong I still never feel like I can stay but hey everyone's a little broken right and some pieces don't fit together no matter how much lotion no never mind you can go on ahead of this time stick together Never, sticking together never works out anyway. Maybe. And maybe, just this time, I'll stop running. Okay, I talked to Kane. Now what? Whoa, why there are so many Lunas here? Luna? We meet again. I have no intention of extending to you the same mercy when we last met. I am here to reclaim what has been stolen from me. Lazy. Lazy. Who is Lazy? I will do what must be done for your sake. Lazy? Who is Lazy? Uh, why there... What's going on? Um... Oh, no. Blast that feral woman and blast her husband twice. History cares nothing more, nothing for hopeless romanticism. He is naive as I have been. For neither does history care for its own study. I only need to recover the scars I carved, not earn my own. But I understand now. Reality accepts nothing less than fully commitment, full commitment and sacrifice. Those unwilling to choose that path have it chosen for them. Then there is only one road left to walk. Ironic, for as this loss was just what I needed to gleam that way. Um, okay. Oh, hey. Oh no, it's Lean. How funny. You thought you were strong together? And here you are now? Let this be a lesson. Numbers do not help. Friends do not help. Nothing ever helps. No one ever helps. No one ever 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 helps. Oh, wait a minute.
I must get out of this. Uh, Luna and Taka on the left side. Luna and Taka? That's not Luna and Taka, that's Hitera. Oh my god. This is this is way too weird. What's going on? Luna and Oh my god. Fine, I'll save the game now. I've been saving the game so many times. Once upon a time, a belt of meteors swept across the universe. But one day, one of those little meteors decided she wanted to go further than any of the others ever had. So she kicked up her trial, trail, revved up her ramthor, her speed dust, space dust, and off she went, sailing far, far away across the galaxy. Further than all the best of her friends. Further than all of her loving family. Further than any meteor had ever known it was possible to even go. And when she was very, very tired of flying so far away, she found a little planet she liked and she thought that she would finally rest. So the little meteor started to descend to the planet's surface. But that planet's surface atmosphere was so hot and so thick and the little meteor was so exhausted from flying so many millions and millions of moons across space that she born right up in the sky. And do you know what happened? All the people on the planet looked up and they said, Look! A shooting star! Let's make a wish. And so, everyone on the little planet, which has scarcely seen a star in its life, wished and wished and wished and wished with all their might and those people smiled and knew hope like they had never known before and felt happy by the time it would have come to the surface there was nothing of the little meteor left at all it all that all poof vanished and even though it disappeared from the world forever do you know what happened what that little meteor did it lived happily ever after the joy it brought the hearts it touched and the smiles it inspired in its final moments as a shooting star so even with its last little little little, little itty bitty bit of life it never ever regretted what it had done even once so make sure to smile for me too okay okay wait You could have been a meteorite instead. What? What do you mean a meteorite? Um, why there is a rollster? I don't know. And now a Corlia? Wait a minute. Rolls, then Corlia. That's a team meteor burn this time. And then a Gardevoir. Um, Gardevoir? is whoa why the gym leaders um why do i see so many gym leaders and gardevoirs like this wait a minute let me count them one two three four five six seven eight eight okay who are these people I'm scared. What's going on? Um, you guys okay there? What is that thing? That's Taka and oh, I need to save you, right? Taka and he he he. This is me. Hey, don't you even know who? Your real ally is, don't you? Don't you? Hey, who's really made it so you could get this far? Who? Who? Hey, 
Haven't you been having fun? Haven't you? Haven't you? So you're like me. He. What else? What do you keep playing? What? Uh, I think the game knows that. <laughs> yes, I'm. I am indeed playing. Oh. Okay. No. 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 Okay. A pulse no. Okay. Oh my god, level 100? Alright. We'll have to use a Z move. Come on. Wait, what? Fairy type Z move? No. Wait. Playoff is actually effective here? Is it? Actually effective? What about this? Z move. Never ending nightmare. That did like no damage whatsoever. This guy's good. Huh, interesting. Huh, I see. Play rough again. Good damage. Okay, good job, Mimikyu. I think I should have just. It seems like fairy type moves are. Effective here and even dark type moves. So I'm gonna use the Sidui and use Sucker Punch. Okay, good. That's alright, that's alright. Next. Mm, who knows dark type moves again? I don't know. Anyway, Psychic. It doesn't affect. It's gonna use Dream Meter, obviously. Interesting. Ice punch. Alright, that was easy. No. I don't gain any money, huh? Um, you okay there? I defeated the hit, no? The only way it's healing itself is Dream Eater. Alright. I know that. Keep falling the pot and you will eventually find the exit. Okay. Almost there, hey? Let me have Togekiss on the front. Alright. Wait. Why are they split? Why the head are split? Ah. Uh, this is so weird to watch. What's going on here? Oh my god, that's Burnet and some... Hi dudes, uh, I don't know. Well, any case... Huh. He turned around, it seems. He's literally looking at me. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no, Luna? Hey, Luna, did they do something to you? I swear I'll avenge you. Oh hey, it's Gardevoir. I don't think there's anything else here. If it is just... If this is what it's like to die, I don't mind. I am happy. I was finally able to use my mask to be used to my master. And that feeling is my own. My own. No matter how intensely I may feel it, even I know the truth. All of my desire for him is just a reflection of my of his own longing for her. Wait. And neither of us could ever realize it. After all, a human marrying a Pokemon? How gotcha, unthinkable. These aren't the dark ages anymore. I'm not stupid, just a mess. And even if I put all of those thoughts square out of my head, I know that all come rushing back the moment I saw him again. Is it just how... is that how crushes are or is that is it just part of my fate to only have his feelings i suppose i'll never find out not anymore i see so this gardevoir is rodimus uh, ah it's no it's her again 
I see. I know what you want me to do. The glitch world. <sighs> Titania? Was it Titania? What was her name again? How can I forget? A Pokemon. <laughs> Look at the Pokemon. Anyway, we can't go there. Mm, I guess we keep going there, huh? Ha ha ha. Hey, what's going on? Oh! Oh. It's better this way. But you're the only one who gets to decide that. Hey, how is it that I get to decide that? Ninja Boy? I. I don't want to give. Whoa! I want to be able to fight like you. Please, it hurts. Don't, don't forget me. I won't forget you. I won't forget you. Don't worry. Even though you're dead now, I will remember you forever. Oh, hey. What the? Hey. That was not very nice. Oh, how much longer do you think you have to stay out here? As long as rope. What? How long is a rope? As long as it needs to be. Huh? Huh. That's just a... Uh, stop making excuses. I didn't mean to ruin anything. If you're really tired, then go to sleep. Here, in, in the snow? No, in the luxury down bed we have got... Oh, yes, out here. Dad won't be mad after this, right? Hey, he will... He will if you keep asking things like that. So this is like the past memory of Cal and Blake. Interesting. But I'm so cold. Yes, that's kind of the point. I wanna go inside. Stop complaining. It's your fault we're in this situation in the first place. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I am. You sound like him. Better him than you. Hmm. Oh, is that shade? Oh, hey, what's going on? This nightmare. Oh, my God, my heart's beating like crazy here. Ooh, ooh. Ah! What? Hey, wait. Wait, what's going on? I I didn't kill anyone, right? Uh, it's just a dream, obviously. Ah, uh, oh my god, the head severed. This is Amy, isn't it? And this one has to be. Oh god, I'm so horrified of this. Please get me out of this dream. Get me out of this nightmare. Oh, hey. Ah! What the? The heck? Um. Oh, hey. Oh. That has to be the scene of Taka, isn't it? Where. Titania. Okay. Enough. Oh, hey, it's Luna! How do you do, Ninja Boy? It has been a fair few moments since our last visit, has it not? But let us not linger on this. I fear you have already tallied, dallied here too far, far too long as it is. Though I am not, I do not fault you for it. This is my home rather than yours. Um, okay. So I'll handle the space from here. Please. The way forward is yours alone. My alone. Okay. <gasps> I'm waking up! I woke up. Whew. Unbelievable. I missed everything. Look who it is once again. Are you yourself, Ninja Boy? Please don't be alarmed. 
it is only me. I recognize this is somewhat unfortunate this is for you to return to allow to allow me. This is quite interesting. Radamos is here. Perhaps you will remember me better this way. If you would be so kind, please pay no mind to my appearance before. It is one of my more, shall I we say, assorted, assorted Head pieces. Perhaps I can explain in time, but for now, Miss Volcane, have you seen? Not all is lost after all. Not for good. Oh, it's Sarah. Yeah, I see that. But too much has been. We aren't doing so well, you see. This requires. Some damage control. Nurse Rojaimos is on the case. I don't promise to have medical qualifications, but I do promise to help as best as I can. A male nurse joy? Who ever heard of that? Now listen, my dear, we don't discriminate here in the healthcare industry. Besides, no one ever heard. No one heard of anything until it was invented. So let us not be too quick to dismiss new developments. The new developments have been dismissed themselves. I should have known. This is the only way things go. You certainly can't choose be to believe that if you are happy, happy you're doing so. But I suspect you're not. Of course I'm not. No one would be happy knowing that they will ev they'll lose everything sooner or later. Or at least this way we do not get hurt. Oh contrary, you are hurt all the same. You are only taking the pain now as opposed to later. And with no guarantee when or where later might arrive, you bear an awful lot of wounds in the meantime. Is that truly worth it, I wonder? And what about you? Aren't you upset over losing her? Over both of them? Of course I am. But for better or worse, I am a veteran when it comes to losing hers. One might say I have been bearing an awful lot of wounds through some mean times. Another might say we very often tell others the advice we ourselves need to hear. And yet, another might say that it is better to focus on those whom we still have. For instance, saving that girl. Any of them. What's broken can't be fixed. Clearly, it can't be replaced either. There's no going back. And yet, Ninja Boy has come. Who knows if another yet might. But I believe we are being rude to our new arrival. Ninja Boy must be quite confused by now. I'll explain. I've been here. And there, before Luna informed me that she had been contacted. She told me that a friend had summoned her to this place. I thought it was curious, so I afforded to escort her. That is how we come to be here. Interesting. So this is a flashback scene. Well, how is it? It's an adventure. An elevator with cut cable, frosting and sprinkles of glass all over it. I believe I'll wait for supper. Indeed. One would indeed need to be mad to climb down through this. So I take it you're going immediately? 
I just might. Carnivore? Luna too? What are you doing here? How do you do, mother? Mother? Are you kidding me right now? Wait. Luna. Zero. And that means that person must be based on the street hat, Radamos. Radamus M. Van Hayen, to be precise. My hat resents your resents your words, but I, on the other hand, am honored to make your acquaintance. I have heard much about you, madam. Likewise. Luna, dear, are you unwell? Are you crying? I am perfectly, perfectly fine. There's no need to be worried about me. Okay. I'm just very happy. I'm happy to see have both of you back. Oh, I see now. Right. So, Miss Volcane, what brings you to these remote parts? Parenting. Well, it seems you have come to the right place. I didn't mean... I suppose so. And now we finally have the whole family together. What a wonderful but shocking turn of events. Miss Volcane, would I would I be alright? Would I be right in deducing that this magnificent Gardevoir was the one who directed you to this place? What? Probasterous. You would. The slander? Gardevoir, you were the one who arranged this rendezvous. Why the audacity to imply such a thing? I would faint on the very spot. Gardevoir? Gardevoir, la la la, painting all over again. Thank you, truly, madam. I need to find my son, and would he be here? We shall. Do you think not it is wise to go together? I know, I know better than to count on others' staying, mother. And even if it's unwise, do you still not think it's kind? Fine, I understand. I'll go with you all. Fantastic! Sarah joined the party. Although I do not wish to be inconvenienced, I very much appreciate it. What I have gotten myself into now. Something messy. Something wonderful. At least take me out to dinner before that. Though I suppose you might have a certain amount of charm, were it not for the goofy hat. Now you listen here. I may have set you up to up, but don't forget that master belongs to me. Madam, I assure you, were it not for the goofy hats, I would not have not I would have nothing at all. You don't say. Then I suppose you're gonna step over me after all. Mother, please stop Please do not say things like that now. I know very well how much loss you have felt throughout your life. Ouch. But unless it can be sh somehow changed, there is no use in lamenting that which we cannot have in favor of appreciating that which we can. Aren't we losing sight of the situation here? We are only working together. It's not like we are about to be a happy little family forever or something. That might depend on who you ask. And speaking of working together, what exactly are we doing up here? Parenting. I have received summons to this place from a dear friend Shade. Huh, Shade, you say. Of course, I simply had to answer it. We were just assessing the viability of the glass pit of the death you see before you as an entrance. Glass pit of death sounds like it's about my speed. Hey. That's not even all glass down here. It's that's ice too. 
Goodness, you can tell from such a height? Oh, please. Who do you think I am? More importantly, it hasn't melted yet. Whatever happened here, happened recently. The plot thickens. It seems we are even less alone than we thought. If we may be of some service to whoever is responsible for this, let us make haste. I'm sure there must be less destructively there must be a less destructively created entrance. Then let's call out and find out. Right. We can do that. We can do it. Or my uh, my name is an ass Ketchum. Who? Wow. Who? But master, your name is an ass Ketchum. That's right. And even that can't stop us. Come, let us be off. I see. So that's what happened. We found an elevator for open use in the building nearby. And so we made our way through the factory with little difficulty, I presume, thanks in part to you, Ninja Boy. As soon as we arrived in this room, where we saw. You know what it's time for? Lights, camera, and drama! Quickly, give them to give them to Volcano. Ninja Boy handed over the sapphire bracelets. Hmm, okay. Ninja Boy, we should have guessed it was you. What? What is going on? OMG. Someone is impersonating me? What do you mean, guess the doors? Oh man. Excellent work, Volcano. Thank you. I suspect that is not the ninja boy we know. Bennett! Oh. Poor mother? Why did you have to come here too? For you, obvious. Your hair. It looks better. I'm aware, mother. Thank you. Now please go. I do not wish for you to get dragged to this. You should have thought of this that before you went and joined up with the terrorist organization. Fourthly. Oh wait. When I think about it, I think I might be controlled by the hypno. Firstly, there is more of a religious organization than a terrorist one. Secondly, I do not approve of getting, uh, getting, getting approve or don't approve of everything they do. I'm doing a few jobs for them until I'm paid my dues. You're paying your dues for a while, for a while yet. When you're out of here, come on, or come on, or you're grounded for next 45 years. Make it 50. I'm not coming home. You can treat me like a child forever, Mother. Zero. What are the lights doing? It's just a moment dip, momentary dip in power. I um, don't think it's anything to worry about. You may not be a child, but are your actions truly becoming an available? My actions? I am... Sorry. I cannot for a second take you seriously with the ridiculous mask on. I told him it is awful. Not all has created equal, but that doesn't mean they deserve less respect. Mother, how do you re manage to make every new boyfriend weirder than the last? Don't get the wrong idea here. Besides, you should already know that master is vigorously taken. Do you have to phrase it like that? It's been a while, God of War. Not long enough, if you ask me. If I don't fault you for feeling that way. Please understand that I'm no longer I'm the same person you once knew. I would much rather everyone let the past go. But I understand that 
won't be possible. Luna, I beg your pardon. I offered my team serious opportunity for how I acted before, but you did not accept. You did not accept them. There would be a little point in doing so anyway. I dis dis disrespected you by treating you as an object before a person. There is no excuse for that. Zero is a pulse using too much power or something. Too much power? What do you mean? The energy readings appear to be within acceptable levels. The stupid thing just keeps power cycling for some reason. But um, it doesn't seem to have interrupted its hypnosis, so please don't worry. We'll continue to analyze it. So don't hesitate if you want us to use Ninja Boy to grind them into gas. That man seems mind mildly unwell. Zero. We only need to subdue them. Not do anything drastic. Subdue them? Huh. Okay, Ninja Boy, would you be so kind? Zero. That's not... Okay, so that's how it is. You have Ninja Boy hypnotized? And that's hideous... Pulse back there is a source. Then, there is only one thing we must do, is it there or not? We must defeat Ninja Boy in order to free him. They were wise to seize Ninja Boy as their defensive line, given that he has bested all of us at some point. Not all of us together, but not all of us together. Wait. Master, there was something you wished to do, was it there or not? Please allow me to begin. Luna, you... Please, be silent. You claim to have changed, but you have chosen your side. If you're genuine, genuine in your prior assumptions, then do what it is you set out to do for yourself now. You mean that if I truly respected you as a person, I need not take pity on or spare you as an enemy? It was never my intention for it to come this, but so be it. I'll cut the ties myself. Ninja Boy, defeat Luna. What? Defeat Luna? Oh sheesh. I defeated her though. I'm sorry. So this is it. But this was only the natural outcome. There is no standing up to us anymore. But Ninja Boy on our side, we might as well be invincible. Are you sure about that? After all, my role here is to soften Ninja Boy enough for my parents to overcome. We will triumph as a family. If you will. Don't worry, dear Luna. And if even though even through Ninja Boy, there's no way we'll lose to these scripts. Right, Master? I suppose it's our turn after all. Miss Volcane, may I have the honor of this battle? Last time a man asked me that he left the arena crying. That's a risk I'm interested in taking right now. Then let's not hope you can satisfy. Seriously, Master? I'm going to be secure. In this situation, a stacked. Ninja Boy, use these. Oh my god, I literally use full restores. <laughs> I'm being forced to fight my friends. That's your cue, Ninja Boy. Go get him. Oh. Feel so sorry. Just what is that trainer made of? Providence, I suspect. I see. So in the end, it ha still hasn't been enough. 
Ninja Bot performs even better than expected. For as I underestimated the woman, and it was all thanks to my pulse. Zero? Do not forget, it was. I was the one who did that. But it's okay, you helped him too. And what part of this are you part of? None of this was necessary. You could have just put them to sleep from the start. Well, this was helpful to test. Don't speak. The only thing I am that's been tested is your willingness to indulge. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand. You have been enjoying puppeting Ninja Boy around as an outlet for your frustration with them. That's nothing is gained by battling now when we are just putting them to rest anyway. But you said, I say to a Surely do something not to waste time and jeopardize the pulse security in a 1v2 scenario. I'll take responsibility for the battle with Luna, but this battle served no other purpose than to stroke your own ego. Just wanted to make sure Ninja Boy was fully under control. You wanted to feel the control? I assume because I assume because you lack anatomy over your own body for so long. Am I wrong? And I read your file. You were just a grunt before joining with those girls, correct? Not an effective one either. They were only they were your only chance to stand out. Which is why you cling to them even now. The kind of behavior you've demonstrated totally exemplifies your incompetence. You let your emotions get in the way of your outcome until you learn to set ambitions aside and truly focus on yourself and goals. You'll never change. Did that missionary teach you that? No, mother. That man has done little more than more for me than. Place me in the footsteps. My feet are feet are not fit to fill. Even now, I understand I cannot hope to fully live up to the title of Elite Four. I realize this. In realizing this, I learn to step back and take a more serious approach to self improvement. I believe the results should speak for themselves. The results don't speak louder than you still stand sitting on the wrong side of the coin. Is it wrong to return one step? The end of means does not make its meaning end. Are you sure you are not running from your own choices? Zero, this is this has dragged on for far too long already. If you truly want to make yourself useful, put them all to sleep already so we can move on. Got it. You'll all be out of your own way, our way, for good now. You won't. Gardevoir, you're already injured from the fight. There's no need to push yourself further. They would they would put Master to sleep, toss him aside and never let him wake up again. Maybe dispose of him outright after what he did. I will I'll never ever let that happen. What is she doing? As you may know, Gardevoir are, fierce, Gardevoir are fiercely loyal to their trainers. It is said that they will do anything in their power to protect their trainer, even if it costs their own life. Gardevoir! Don't try to stop me. This is what I need to do for you, rather than doing something dramatic, though I know you are such a fan of it. Let us have faith in the world and our companions. Who is left? Who can stop Ninja Boy? Who can? Who won't just be put to sleep? Gardevoir, please. No, this is the only way. I'll destroy the machine altogether. This is my purpose. This is not your... Yes, it is. To make sure you live on all those years ago. This is what she asked me to do. 
Ooh, she? No harm will be will come to your master, Gardevoir. You have my word. He he will sleep and nothing more. When it is over, he will wake. I do not wish to see you hurt either. Liar! After what you have done to Luna and Ninja Boy, and what Ninja Team Meteor intends to do after this, you want to make allowances now? I'll never believe that. The synergy. I, in the most di dire of circumstances, it's said that Gardevoir can use all of its power to go as far as creating a small black hole. Black hole? Wait a minute. That's right. No matter how strong that pulse may be, I can erase it all together. Zero. I can set it set this right. And I will. Let Kane go. Seize her before it's too late. On it. Master. Please remember. I'll always love you more than she or anyone else ever could. Oh, so these are the missing lines. I see. Zero. I've got it. Oh no. Are we too late? Her energy is spiraling out of control. Everyone, get out of here. What about Ninja Boy and others? There's no time. Volcana, go already. Oh no. OMG. God of War is... If you really have walked into a class late, then you will know what it's like. Heads turn, eyes peel. You think a thousand of things that they did not but feel them all the same. In the mo in that moment, you are the sole star in the sky, and they are trying to sleep. Expectations and anxieties are frequent. Guess at an otherwise unplanned tea party, and while their sugar sits untouched, the sun is setting far too slowly. Never soon enough, it will be time for them to go along their way. They will retire for even for the evening home to the to their wife, to their children. Children who grow tired. Children who grow up asleep. But still, you must peel their eyes. There comes a time in every child's life where they must lay down their teaspoon, pinch the corners of the fabric, and pull the tablestone, tablecloth right away. Enough, she says, and follows the light out. When there is one only path, there is one way to go. And when in the darkness the path cannot be seen at all, then you're free. For now, the time has come for me to follow my own infinity. Farewell, mother. Farewell, father. It has been like a dream. Oh no. Wait. <sighs> okay. Oh no, 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 no. Why? Why? Why did you... Control, control, right? Incompetence? This is always how it is. This is always how it was. Best is not get uh, not good enough. Best is not good enough. I told you. I told you why, Zero. What do we do? What to do? Eve, tell me what we should do. Report back to Labradora. Lean will want to know what happened. I'll take the braces and finish from here. That's right, that's right. As long as we have the safer vessels, it's okay. She won't be mad. She won't be mad. She, will she? Go! Yes. Wait. Okay. Gardevoir. I'm sorry it had to come to this. 
Mother, are you all right? Never better. Good. And Luna? Where is Luna? Do you know what happened to Luna? Luna stepped into that black hole on her own. She! Is this the end you hope to achieve? Oh no. Shut up. I don't want to hear it from someone who couldn't even control his own Pokemon. Then, from whom would you prefer to hear it? Is this the only person you listen to? Don't kid me. He and I use each other, nothing more. I have no respect for his beliefs or his goals. But you enact them all the same. Oh no. With their little or with little alternatives. But now that you have mentioned it, you can disappear from here. They will conclude that I was lost in damage. I can break free from this now. Why did it cost Luna? And guard over. Thank you. Mother? You may rest assured I will be no I will not meddle with this group again. You are still grounded. That's fine. I will still not come home. I need to destroy the surveillance footage here. And what about your cohort? You'll make a report, right? I am a fool. I have to stop him immediately. Um, excuse me. Oh, you're awake now. I'm glad you're safe. Miss Bell Rose, I'm deeply sorry for what happened. I've heard that these will once belong to your family. Please take them. Wait, what? I don't understand. There's no time. I have to hurry. Maybe I could help you? Your confusion is apparent. Listen, it's because of me that you lost your position as a member of Elite Four. Wait, Laura? Is the part of Elite Four? Right, I remember. Yes, I saw her in the orphanage. Elias created a false notice of termination and then we hypnotized you to handwrite, handwrite a letter of resignation. And then I took over your spot. I'm truly sorry for what has happened, but right now I must go. Does that mean I can't help? You are a deeply concerning person. Let me put it more simply, I'm your enemy. There is no reason for you to help me. I think there is. Do people have to definitely have to be defined by their flaws and mistakes? Even if we not, if we are not defined by them, we can all just ignore them. I understand that you must have done some bad things, but I also understand that you are doing your best to change. If I can be of any help, I'd like to. You sound just like her. Ugh. I have a two sister. I have two sisters, and they aren't particularly spotless either. Nobody is. Still, I've learned that in order to survive, I have to work together no matter what. Fine, do whatever you want. There is somewhat of a this me man in black currently going on the foot from here to Labradora. Can you catch him? If we can change the weather, my Pokemon should be able to outspeed anyone. I'll do it. Then I'll destroy the security footage here and meet up with you. And I'll see if I can bring some food. Despite our systems, you must be starving after sleeping for so long. We can work out the details with the Elite Four then. Okay? That sounds wonderful. Deal. Let's go quickly. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So that's what happened? So much for a happy little family. Luna. Gardevoir, King, and even Ninja Boy. Everyone always disappears. 
Let us not make a situ bad situation worsen by exercising its screams. Oh wait, it's shape. Oh, interesting. Un unbelievable. And here we are. I don't know what, by what means or madness shade pull you back into this world, but it appears you have business that you are not yet permitted to quit. I may be so bold, if I may be so bold, how is it on your end that you managed to return? Luna herself showed you the way. Luna did? Then it seems there are still miracles that defy your understanding. Will you still hold your wounds close, Miss Volcane? I don't know what to count on anymore. Maybe nothing. Now you're getting it. Let us, let us presume to hope she'll be back in one will be back one day. After all, we n you never know who still stroll through the ne door next. Everyone is always coming and going and coming right back. Oh wait, what? Ninja boy, you made it. Not that I dub Nostra or anything. Where did these kids come from? Oh my god, are you okay? What happened? I'm sorry. Those cracks all over your skin. Do you need help? On my skin? Am I getting wrinkles again? No, not wrinkles, cracks. See, all over here and here and here. I don't. Don't worry about it. She always sees things other people don't. That seems safe. It's always not. Jeez. But really, what are you doing here? This is, isn't a place for kids. And now, uh, if this wasn't a place for kids, then why would we be here? That's what I'm asking. We're here for him. Yep, Nostra made us, made us sleep so that the poor Hypno couldn't. Huh, okay. And then we came back to meet him. Hi, cute hat. Have you been crying? Not anymore. You really are just like her. Come here. Wait, don't tell me you are... They are... What? Like everyone didn't see that coming? Yeah, I don't really know how I would have come to that conclusion, having just met you all. Sorry to keep you all waiting so long. It's been so very very low right. I'm just very happy to see you again. Your boat's gotten so big. Last time I saw you, you were just a little this tiny. And if anyone should be sorry to keep in s someone waiting, it's me. You both deserve so much more. But it's alright, Nostra says this is the only way it could have happened. I do know how it does. So, you still got it. That's a relief. Of course! Of course I do. We would never willingly let go of something you gave us. And that Klefka too. His name is Nomos. Nomos, hello. It's nice to meet you. He says hi, Noel. Tell him everything Nomos says, and not just the first part. Noel, you said, and if I heard correctly, you go by Anna? Yep, that's us. Shouldn't you already know that? Those aren't the names that your mother chose for you. Painter, Fantasia. Those are such cool names. She had some flair about her, but when I had to let go, let you go, I purposely would hell your names so there would be no way they could find you. Who is they? Team Meteor. Will you tell us why Team Meteor was after you? It's not a simple story, but I'll say it as clearly as I can. Mistakes are lessons waiting to be learned. And some might say I'm 
I have been very well educated indeed. During one such lesson, a third important helped me understand that particular object could have been could be very dangerous in that group position. So what I did, I what I had to do, and stole those particular objects. In order to disguise their origins, I asked a close friend to fashion each of them into jewelry. Jewelry was a passion of his back then, but he was unprepared for the energy those keys held, and one of them broke in half. He was able to recover it, but he did fantastic work with the others, so I gave him one of the unfinished pieces as thanks. And with the others, I sought out buyers. In particular, I searched for strong trainers who were able to able to effectively defend and defend the pieces should Meteor try to recover them. Caroline and Monty were forced. Man, Rodamos has been busy. To they would be safe. They chose a sapphire key to match their eldest daughter's name. Next was Mr. Molino. He chose the ring for his engagement. I remember. And then the last one I entrusted to the beauty who showed me the light. And that was your mother. And so I rejuvenated myself with a new name, new personality, and new history. Ninja Boy, I do hope I hope you will forgive me for deceiving you. My wealth has never come to from my su success as a chess player. It came from the sales of those keys. A few extra digits taken from Meteor's coffers. I always hoped to be able to fulfill your mother's dream of living in the castle. That's so cool. I do not defend Trevery, but I dare say it was better use of money than they would have found for it. And for a time she was happy. I thought it would well end happily. But it turns out happily ever hard after just means that the next story hasn't started yet. Team Meteor learned of what I had done who I was and where the keys were, and so it began anew. Your mother was a walking miracle, but for better or worse, people often outlive their miracles. After her disappearance, I was scared above else, all us for both of your safetyness. I didn't want any harm to come to you, so I had to make sure you didn't get mixed up with them. And just look how, it turned, how that turned out. It's okay, I know you were doing the, just doing your best, whether it was right or wrong. Here, you should have this back. Oh, Amethyst Pendant. You had it? I'm so sad, I was so sad after it was taken. I'm so sad that I got sick almost and, and almost died of sadness. Why did you give it to her? It was not one of my better plays. Perhaps, I was hoping Team Meteor would never find it. If it was with you two, but instead it gave them cause to seek you out. Perhaps sentimentally got better of me. Whether that was right or wrong? No. I mean, why would you give it to her and not me? Why is Anna the one who, who's special? Ah. Oh. Here, you can keep it. No, that's okay. I don't want it. I just wanted to know. You deserve it more than I do. It's not about deserving or not. Just take it. Anna, I can't even cure Nomos. I never could. I shouldn't hold something like that. I know you can't. What? That's okay. You'll understand eventually. If you want to hold the pendant, just ask me, okay? Okay. So, why did you give it to Anna? 
It was your mother's before. I thought... I simply thought it would suit her better. But it seems there may be some cause and effect in your similarities after all. Still, I understand that's unfair to you. I hope you can forgive me. It's not like it matters. I don't understand any of you. However, do you mean? It's been how many years? And you just... You all just go on like nothing happened? You act like all of you knew the whole time that you that you met here? The future has a funny way of never being how we know it. But we never had to know. All we had to do was decide. The future cannot hold a candle to resolution. Whoa, those are some very big words there. Considering something like that, like the law of numbers, it's only logical this would ever happen eventually if we kept looking. Plus, we had a little help. You are unbelievable. What? I was totally uh, believed. Right, Noel? Sometimes. Noel, but despite being unbelievable, here you are. Then, there's just means you need to change your beliefs. If you see, if how you see things isn't accurate reflections of reality, then why keep looking that way? You're the last person who should be saying that. Or the first, a reflection of reality, huh? In that case, maybe it's better to just put the mirror down. Let there be no reflections at all. And see things however works best for you? Smooth talking runs in our family, doesn't it? They've got it from their mother. I don't think that's true. Maybe we all did. And maybe we all have room to learn from them too. It's tough to lose people, but you ju you can just lean on people still around you. So depend on us now. Yes, I will depend on you guys. Hey now, who's the parent here? Oops, but you are, of course, correct. I am only lament that I had to say goodbye to Gardevoir and Luna to say hello to you. Not to mention the other boy. But I will admit, it could have been much worse given the circumstances. Perhaps the only reason the damage was so minimal was because Gardevoir fought to control our soul even through their hype. Hypnosis. Loyal to the very end. That's something I'm not used to. Maybe it's time you change that. Um, excuse us. Oh, hey. Sorry to interrupt, but... You did it, you did it. Great job, both of you. Did you open a daycare service while I was, wasn't looking? Maybe if I wasn't looking... Okay, everybody. They're my friends, Lumi and Eve. Um, hi. We've caused a little bit of trouble for you. Please accept my apologies. I believe the man in black who was here before had had called out to you. That is correct. It is impossible. It's kind of a long story, but basically we're stuck together with him for a long time, in the same body. Huh? What's going on? I wouldn't recommend- Huh, I see now, that's why. This all makes sense now, why they had like, split personalities and all of that. Well, anyway, I wouldn't recommend the experience, in a sense, we had to work for team meter the entire time. Yeah, I get it. I developed the pulse systems that have been used to create a nearly an insurmountable degree of trouble. Oh, thanks for that. Hey, she didn't do it because she wanted to. I agreed to develop a machines for team meter only under the condition that Lumi's physical body would be adequately preserved. 
that both of your bodies would. You don't need to keep putting yourself aside. I always intend to find a way to restore ourselves to proper bodies, but working together, working towards that was impossible, while we didn't even have the privacy of our own thoughts. I'm happy to be back, but I wish we didn't have to lose that poor magnetism for it. Hmm. Yeah, I understand. And full control, and took full control of while well, to get used to it again. It was difficult at first, yes. Thank you for what you did. Totally. And what exactly was that? Noel and I switched places with those girls. Nostra said it would be really important for them to wake up right away. Thanks to that, we were able to help Ninja Boy reach this place. We hid and moved through vents to evade Team Nature, stole our Pokemon back to help Ninja Boy. Thanks for taking care of Glacier, Ninja Boy. Yeah, no problem, Lumi. Though what happened after Ninja Boy actually got here could have been worse. Yeah. Um, don't get us wrong, Ninja Boy. We are not not trying to fault you. We, but we knew Zero would try to use Hypno to control you, so we tried to stop it. We tried to cut the system's power as soon as he used it on you, but unfortunately, the power supply had an auto reboot function. I hadn't accounted for this pre print. It. So all we were able to do was power cycle the system. We were hoping if we had enough, maybe it would be enough cores in this control system for scheme, control scheme for Ninja Boy to break through. But you saw the result. That's okay. You try your best. You could. I feel really bad for Kane. He never even had a chance to act on his own from the time he came here to when he fell into the black hole. Man. Kane. Yeah, but Ninja Boy came back so maybe he can too. Maybe I just hope so. Speaking of not coming, speaking of coming back, it may be prudent for us to quit this place before too long. Um, would it be all right for us to go with it, with you? We don't really know who has turned to to get away from Team Meteor. Are you kidding me? Not only can you come with us, you have to. I see no reason why not. Everyone will be waiting at Calcino on City. We'll have some information about Team Meteor. That will be relevance to you all as well. What should we do about this one? Hey there, sleepyhead. It's time to wake up. Look at all the friends around you. Mm. Oh, it's Shelly. Um, what happened? Where is Kane? We'll explain later. For now, we need to get going. Um, by the way, there's there was a the boy sleeping in one of the elevators still. That's not. <laughs> that sounds like a cozy place. We tried to wake him up after Hypno had stopped him, but he still wouldn't move. Even after Glacian's heal bell wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Hardy is a... Hardy is a big napper, man. We'll see what we can do. Should worse come to worse, I sh will carry him myself. Can you really get him by yourself? All the way to Calcano? Certainly not. But not as long as we have our Pokemon, anything is possible. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll see her again. Nostra said so. Then I suppose I have no choice but to believe it. Let's be on our way. Ninja Boy, you're coming too, right? Um, yeah, I am. Wait, um...
I will accept it. Yeah, all together. Let's go. Ooh, finally. Oh my god, that was... That was like... Alright, I think I'll end this episode off right here. It, it was the most longest episode ever. Sheesh. I'm feeling very sleepy now. Myself in real life, alright. So, yeah. This has been a pretty long episode. A lot of things happen. So, I think I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.